Hi everyone, welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we're going to talk about two-handed bowling. Who is it best suited for and should you make the switch? Alright, so what are we doing today, Jungo? Tell us more. Well, today we got Jimu on the lanes. My little cousin, two-hander, bowling since he was a little kid. And he's gonna tell you his story of why he started bowling two-handed and why he still bowls two-handed to this day. He's gonna go over his approach. He's gonna break it down for you step by step. Uh, Jimu's also gonna give you some helpful tips and a few drills to do at home and at the lanes to improve your two-handed game. Jimu, to the lanes. Thank you. Now, two-handed bowling. First, let me show you why I don't do one-handed bowling. So, Simu, I'm grabbing your ball. Conventional. As you can see, not pretty. So, now back on topic after seeing that horrific shot. Now, two-handed bowling, the way I do my form is in a five-step approach. When it comes to my form, I do a basic five-step approach, starting with the left and ending with the left. My first step is short. I don't want to make it too big. And then I drop the ball with the second step. The third and fourth step are quick, that it becomes a hop. Check the hop step video we made. Left foot, then right foot. My final step, the slide step, I am taking the ball back from my backswing, going through, transferring my weight to my left foot, and at the same time, I'm letting go of my left hand and having the right hand come around the bowling ball to create that hook. So the biggest difference between one and two handers when it comes to gripping the bowling ball itself is I only use two fingers. Some two handers may use their thumb, but this is more common to see, the two finger approach. When putting your fingers in the bowling ball, you use your middle and ring finger. You can only go to the first knuckle, but I like going a bit deeper just so I have more control when it comes to the release. And as you can see, no thumb hole. With no thumb, my right palm covers where the thumb would be, left hand on top, and throw the ball. Now, why did I go to two-handed bowling? Well, simply, I'm not that strong. Seven years ago when I started bowling, after league, I started messing around one hand, two hands, and honestly, two-handed bowling felt better and it was more comfortable for me. I was able to generate more speed and get more curve, more hook on the bowling ball. As you can see in this video, yes, very short, very scrawny kid, but using the two-handed technique, I was able to hook the entire lane with a plastic ball. Fast forward today, still short, still scrawny, but I'm able to throw 15 pound bowling balls and I'm very comfortable with my versatility. And last but not least, one of the biggest reasons why I still bowl two-handed is because of this guy. You may know him, Jason Belmonte, best bowler in the world. Right, Chug? Also being two-handed, one of the most important things is being versatile, which means playing different parts of the lane, using different speeds, different hand positions. I'll show you a few of them now. First up, speed. Speed control is one of the hardest things I learned to do, but once I got it, it's really important. Now when I'm thinking of speed, I'm thinking of legs and how fast my foot speed is. To put it simply, the faster my feet go, the faster the ball will go. And by that same logic, the slower my approach, the slower the ball will go. I'll first demonstrate a fast approach. As you can see, I'm basically running to the line, almost fallen over a few times. In addition to slowing down my feet, I also move up on the approach. This forces my body to slow down so I don't foul over the line. Slower speed, move up on the approach, faster speed, move back. This is a slower shot, same line. So as you can see, the fastball came in light and the slower speed gave the time to hook and it overreacted. All right team, question time with Jimu. 
have you ever tried two-handed bowling? And vice versa, if you're a two-hander, have you ever tried one-handed bowling, like me? Let me know down in the comments below. Next up, hand position. So another thing I love about two-handed bowling is I can easily change how much hook I put on the ball. So first I'll demonstrate not that much hook, so you'll see a very baby curve. In order to get the least amount of hook possible, at the end of the approach, at the release point, I really want to come behind the back of the ball as opposed to around the side, which we'll get to in a second. Really focusing on my hand where it is at the bottom of the release. That was nice. As you can see at the release point, hand was at the back of the ball, resulting in a very forward roll. And that's very good if you're trying to play very straight, very fast. Now I will try to put as much hook on the ball as possible. And I'm gonna do this by shifting my hand inside the bowling ball and really trying to rip around at release. As you can see, putting more rotation on the ball, much more motion down lane. It covered more boards and hooked way more. So now that I've seen a few strikes, and now that you've seen me bowl two-handed, now we're gonna talk some drills that you can practice. And the first one, you don't even need a bowling ball. You're gonna grab a volleyball or a basketball and practice throwing it against the wall. This will help you with your form and your release. So when you're releasing the ball, really try to think about clearing your non-dominant hand before release and also keeping your wrist strong, keeping it cupped. This will help you create more revolutions. And the second drill I'll demonstrate here is the one-step drill. Now it's a bit different from the one-handed one-step drill because we have two hands, but same kind of concept. Only one step to really focus on your form, balance at the foul line, and release point. So now demonstrating the one-step drill, you have to think this is your last step in the approach. So it's simple. Take the other steps out of the equation and just focus on that last one. You'll get a consistent release, consistent at the foul line, and it will overall help you shoot better scores. We'll throw one last ball and send it back to the boys. Let's send it back. All right, so a few important factors that we took away from Jimu's little segment was that instant hook. When you're bowling with two hands, you get instant hook because your thumb's not in the ball, you're able to rotate around it, and that ball's really gonna turn without much effort at all. Secondly, you can throw a heavier weight. If you're a small kid, young child, you can throw a little bit heavier weight, a little bit more pin action, a little bit more power. That's a huge benefit, I think. Big time. <laughs> little Jimu was throwing balls heavier than him. <laughs> all right, Barks, what are some of the disadvantages or cons for two-handed bowling? Uh, biggest one is going to be spare shooting because it's easier to rotate the ball naturally and the ball kind of wants to hook. To throw it straight at a single pin spare is going to be a little bit more difficult. Now because the footwork is a lot different for two handers, a lot of them will have a hop step in there. That can be a little bit tricky for people that are transitioning over, learning it for the first time. Because the footwork is a little bit more difficult, if you have a difficult time kind of understanding and getting through that process, then it's going to be harder to create speed. And because it's easier as a two-hander to hook the ball, you may end up hooking too much. So like one-handers, a lot of two-handed bowlers have different styles as well. Not all of them will use a hop step. Some will actually anchor the, the thumb into the ball as well. So just because you're a two-handed bowler doesn't mean you're not going to use your thumb. Uh, not all two-handers are built the same. All right, Jungo, any final thoughts? Thanks, Mark, again for the balls. Uh, we're getting good use out of these lower end balls that the boys have. Thank you again. Don't forget our question for today's vid. If you're a two-hander, have you ever tried bowling one-handed? Or maybe even trying shooting your spares one-handed? And if you're one-hander, have you ever tried fooling around bowling two-handed after league, before league? Let me know down in the comments. Jungle here was a two-hander before, before he was 10 years old. <laughs> good old days. Don't forget, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for our next vid.